What? What? Be nice to each other. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I've been talking to Andy. We've been discussing our options for new goats that come in here. And I'm going to explain this as best as I can without trying to confuse you guys. But because we do have goats in this area, in this stall right here. And the stall has not been heavily used by the entire herd. Um, so it's, it's clean. I, I'm going to say that these guys are probably not going to come down with anything in here. Which is good, but it's also bad at the same time. Because if you think about it, we want to expose them to whatever is here on the farm. I want them to be able to have the immunity to be able to, you know, float around the farm and handle whatever type of load um, of, I don't know, germs are around here. Think about it this way. When you get a vaccine for something, they're basically giving you that something. Whatever the vaccine is, they're giving you a low dose of that something to figure out, or not to figure out, to let your body attack it and learn how to attack it. Now, if I take new goats and I just let them go anywhere, middle school or gen pop, we don't have eyes on. We don't have the ability to um, like monitor what's going on. And what we did this last time with the 11 goats, the first 11 that we got, we put them over there. Now this is gonna work, it's not going to work when moms are over there having babies and things like that. But currently we don't have any moms having babies. So if I turn that into the new quarantine area over there, let them get to exposed to whatever might be uh, affecting them. The ones with the strongest immune systems Within a week or so, if they don't come down with a runny nose or a crusty eye, um, they can move here to uh, the, and that's what we've done. That's what we've been doing. So let's find one of the goats that was over there and has moved over here. So perfect example, Oreo 2.0, Giovanna. Cud chewing, no crusty eyes. They might have had a little bit of something, but I was able to catch it because we spent a lot of time over here. I was able to treat them. And as soon as they got better within a few days, popped them in here. Now their immune system we know is good to whatever affected them in particularly. And we just reverse that whole protocol and system. If anybody does come down with something in here or gen pop, we can just cycle them back over here. I know it's kind of crazy thought process, um, but it's impossible to quarantine every single goat when you have 200 plus goats. It's just impossible. So my plan is to take the goats out of that stall and put them over here so they're more exposed to whatever might be in the hay and straw over here. On top of that, I do have the heater duct right here, which is allowing more airflow and uh, heat for them. Over there, that's not the bank side of the barn. This is the bank side of the barn, meaning there's a bank of soil on the back side. So this side over here will stay a little bit warmer. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go take and move these goats out of that stall and put them over here. That'll be fun. Now Andy did say he would help, but I told him I got it. That's the one thing I wish I had is a, an easier way to get goats from here to there like a chute, a tunnel, a, a high, a, a sky bridge, something. Hi, Evie. So let's do that. Who's going first? Who's going first? How many do we have over here? Mama, do, would you like to go first or last? You're pretty. This will give you guys a chance to see each one of them anyways. So let's pick you up. All right, this is one. <laughs> we're gonna set you down for a quick second and we're gonna drop you over the edge. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's do that how many more times? What are you doing? Hi. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 goats in here. So 13 more times or 12 more times. Definitely pygmy style. Take a look at that forehead. I, oh, God, get that out. No fighting me, please. <laughs> Somebody's not happy. You'll be happy in a minute. I got some friends coming your way. <laughs> they don't like to be moved in new spots. Are you missing your friend? Are you are you bonded with that one? Let's go. Oh, you know what I forgot to do is put the little collars on the two goats. I'm going to have to do that. Come here. Oh, you're friendly. Yeah, let me pick you up. Okay. All right, let's go. This is my third one. Ooh. You'll get to go, Mom. Don't worry. <laughs> Come on, pretty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you helping? Okay, I didn't want to take you away from your work. All right, that'll be easier. Trying not to have them touch my wrist. Oh, that's right. How's your tattoo doing? Good. Good. Okay. Ooh, you're a chunky monkey. Oh, we got a squirmer. We got a squirmer on our hands. That one's cool. All white on the back end, mainly. Yes. Black and white. Reminds me a lot of Miracle. Oh, yeah. All right. In terms of the everything. All right. Okay, there you go. Go down. Ready, set, jump. <laughs> like a cat, always landing on their feet. Oh, look at that. We got a white hoof. Oh. Remember the other day when uh, you made me hold the pig for a very long time <laughs> as you did this? Yeah. I'm just going to do it. Okay, I'm just kidding. That's fine. You got a unique voice. <laughs> Yin and Yang or whatever. Is this the one with the black horn, white yeah. horn? I've never seen that before. No, I've never seen it either. That's really cool. Are your eyes the same color? <laughs> You're such a, I can't. The, just the look on the face right now. The eyes spread apart. Almost looks uh, special. You almost look special a little bit. You're all special. Oh, gosh. No. You're all special. Okay. You, everyone else jumped. You're um, just a black and white one? It's a little wet. I think it's just, maybe just pee. Did you just pee? <laughs> All right. Can you jump? Like the rest? There we go. Yep, that was pee. That was pee. <laughs> I'm glad he wasn't like sick. <laughs> 
to my ear for that. Yeah, you're loud. <laughs> More water over there, I would think, then. It's well, like well, let me get the probiotics and put it in there. The big one over there. No, I'm thinking let him finish it, then you know. Then you know it's all gone. So one dish, we just make sure they finish it out every day or a couple times a day. Oh, I almost got kicked in the face. <laughs> Adam, Adam, Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. They're going to get more socialization over there anyways and more used to people because we go in there every day. Yep. Tell me about it. Is that the last one? Yep. Mama! She's a little violent, so I'm just gonna walk her in. Violent, huh? Like, eh, not violent, but like... Grayson's helping. A little bit of too much energy for me to pick her up in here. Did you break a belt loop there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah these are old jeans. Pebbles, that's not your mom. So what about the new ones that you just got last night? You want to put them in the middle, over here then? Uh, that goes with that theory. It does. Go, well, no, we'll do a control and we'll do a, there's six here and then there's like the rest of them over there. Although realistically, so, no, I think if you want to do a control, a control group would be like, I think control and control group in science would be like what your original was. So we uh -huh. put, those six in a stall. Okay, but I'm pretty certain we already know the outcome of that. We've done that in the past. Yeah. They're fine in the stall. My thought is we've but never is, tested. It's just like that. This is, is the same test, essentially. The same test. However, however, what's different? The only difference is these guys, if they want to, can go all the way out. So that's actually a good test because if they, if they are able to get out and go get the fresh air you know i don't know like uh, all the variables there's a lot of variables i'm okay well, with think, just think, all right so if you want to have two unique tests these six not in here they're out there what's going to stop them from just coming right back in True. i was just thinking of a way for them to make sure they get outside but well you're right you know what it's only a week you're right andy you're right Let's put them in here. Let's grab the six up. Okay. Let's do it. This way. <laughs> Boston. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. I got two of them under there, but I don't know which way they're going to be. Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh! That was like aerial acrobats. Go ahead. Oh, oh goodness! I can't. All right, this is gonna be challenging. Well, you would get the social aspect of them going over there anyway. Gosh. <laughs> I got two. I got two. Oh my goodness, God. Oh gosh. That was horrible. No, I think there's still maybe one up here because I got two. And I got three, so. Is there one more over here? Yeah, right here. This one, no. Yeah, this one. All right. But it looks kind of like half, but it's not half. Or 
kind of like uh, mica, but there's more brown on the The brown head. on the back of the head? Yep. Oh. <laughs> they don't know about the door yet, I don't think. Yeah. Oh, you got the tough one. If you didn't know it, if you had your eyes closed, you'd think this was Piggles. <laughs> all right. Oh, no. Wait, are those all her kids? No, she's only got two kids. Dude, they're all trying to nurse off of her. I mean, we might have to remove her if that's the case. Yeah. Look at them. Two of them are hers, and I don't know which two. I, th I know they're. I think they're the two on her right there that are like right next to her. <laughs> yeah, her being the only mom, that might. It might be a problem. I don't know. Oh boy. Hello. Yes. So, I mean, we could consider her and her kids to get a stall. The her ki her group. kids are older though. Yeah. <sighs> Good times. Yeah, now you gotta switch your cameras around. <laughs> yep, easy peasy. I also saw uh, oh. Kelly was trying to. She was her. Uh, wait, not Kelly, Katie. Katie was trying to chew through your corn the other day. Yeah, that happens. What are you gonna do? All right, I'm off of this video. See you on the next one.